Uh, the Hart Trophy. Mm. Most valuable player to their team. Not most valuable player in the league. Oh, most valuable player to their team. That's how the Hart <laughs> is specified. I'm, I don't make the rules. I'm just giving, you, giving them to you. So, And this is not voted on by the players. Yeah. So I think it's members of the media, right? Yes. So who is your Hart Trophy winner, gentlemen? Hey, guys. Where would you say Canada Sportsbook exists? Uh, um, in Canada. Well, I would say it exists at sportsinteraction.com slash STP. Yeah. That's what I would say. It's Canada's sports book, and it is the best place to go. Uh, before the game starts, live and play, or, you know, you get to guess on how your favorite player performs. Canada does it at SIA, and they're doing it right since 1997. Competitive odds. Sports interaction makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. Wow. What's the URL, Steve? Oh, man. Sportsinteraction.com slash... STP. Yeah! <laughs> 19 plus, and as always, please play responsibly. I think we got the same guy. Go ahead. Uh, Austin Matthews, um, because he scored 60 effing goals in 73 bleep, bleepity bleeping games. And he had quite a few assists to add to that as well. He's an underrated playmaker. He is the premier goal scorer in the NHL, and I am not uh, deterred by the Leafs' positive record without him in the lineup because those are all fantasy camps. Those are all mm -hmm. hmm. uh, blips on the radar. It is so much easier to weather that storm when you know the storm is going to pass. All hmm. of Matthew's absences have been, we know, short-term. Mm -hmm. He's going to miss the first few games of the season, but he'll be back. He's suspended. We have an actual date of when he is going to be back. <laughs> he's resting. We know he's going to be back. Um, so 60 goals in 73 games is absolutely stupid. He's the heart winner, man. Jesse. Uh, I have the exact same name as Steve Dangle. It is Austin Matthews. And Steve, you touched on the offense, so I'll touch on the defense. Austin Matthews this season came into the season with a plan. He was not only going to be the best offensive player in the league, but he is going to improve on his defensive prowess. And he has done that. Austin Matthews uh, went from 78 takeaways to 47 takeaways last year. Oof, ninth place in the league. And now he is at 92 takeaways, which is the, the lead for the entire National Hockey League. As the athletic claimed, Austin Matthews is the takeaway king, it's not only at five on five, but overall he led the league in both categories. And his advanced numbers on his defense have only grown each year he's been in the league. His expected goals against has dropped dramatically as he has played more games in the National Hockey League. He's nearly at, a full goal. <laughs> nearly a full goal in 18-19 is at 2.87 goals against expected. Now he is at 2.06. Huh. Austin Matthews has paired being the best uh, offensive player in the entire National Hockey League outside of McDavid to being also an exceptional defensive player. And I think with that respect, you got to say he's doing the most for his team on both ends of the ice, which I think really matters. And we lose sight of that. Austin Especially Matthews as the number one center. As the number one center yeah. going up the, the toughest matchups because uh, other teams are always game planning for him. You know who's going to be scoring. It's going to be Austin Matthews. They're trying to shut him down. And all he does is score. And then he gets back on the other end. And he does his takeaway king. Ding. Thanks. Go ahead. The, you the, gonna, I thought you were going to jump in. Oh, no. My bad. The, <laughs> no. the easiest way to shut him down is to make sure the puck isn't on his stick. Mm -hmm. But because of how good he is at takeaways, he's made that impossible. Right. He's so a monster. I'm, I'm going to also third this. And to no surprise for anybody, if you're listening... You know that Austin Matthews has been my pick all season. And I said it three or four months ago in that TikTok that went viral. Uh, and it really pissed off Edmonton where I said he's the best player on earth right now. And at that time, he was. I think Connor McDavid has made a pretty convincing case that he might be uh, the last couple of months. Edmonton with the second best record in the league over the last couple of months. But I'll tell you this. Austin Matthews was far more consistent this year. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you're, if you're comparing and contrasting with McDavid, let me run some numbers by you too. Okay. So he, his average time on ice, even strength, if you think he's only a power play machine, he's playing 17 minutes a night, not on the power play. 17 and a half out of 20 total minutes. Um, when he scores, everybody's like, wow, all of it's on the power play. If you're watching the Leafs, you often see the big, you know, the shots that he has from the hash marks. That's where he scores goals. But he still would have 44 goals 
if power plays didn't exist. <laughs> oh if there was no such thing as a power play, he would have 44 goals and 33 assists. So he has 16 power play goals this season? Yeah. Nice. And, and listen, I know that's a lot, but the guy scored 60. Yeah. Think about that. 44 without the power play. Right. And, and, and he put in, and I know this doesn't matter to non-Leaf fans, but Austin Matthews put in the fourth best points total for any Leaf ever in one season. The only two people ahead of him are Gilmore and Sittler. And it went completely untalked about. Oh, yeah. We just didn't. We didn't. <laughs> and, 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 and by the way, untalked. Mitch Marner this year, ninth all time with 35 goals and 62 assists. Um, he's tied with three, two other players. Can you name them, Steve Dangle? So, sorry. He's tied for what? Mitch he's, is? Yeah. So seven, eight, and nine on the top points of all time. Uh, uh, like top single season points of all time with the Toronto Maple Leafs. You got three players who had 97 points in Leafs history. By the way, if you want to look up this stat, uh, check out uh, quanthockey.com, and it's pretty pathetic because the Leafs have not been great. Yeah, a lot um, of this has to do with the Leafs sucking. Yeah, like, Leafs do like suck. if you're McDavid, you're like, I'm not cracking the top 100 of seasons. McDavid, by an right. Ma- I'm pretty right. sure McDavid this year would have had the best season, single season of all time any Leafs ever had. <laughs> right. like, it's yeah. stupid. That's how great he is. But uh, there you go. Mike Gardner. Okay. And Dave Anderchuk. Okay. Jesse. No, go ahead. Just read it. Anyway, so Dave Anderchuk's actually ahead. Dave Anderchuk oh. had 99 points. Ah! Uh, in, uh, and he sits at number six, but tied for seventh. Daryl Sittler in oh. 79 80, wow. 40 goals, 57 assists. That's a good year. And the other one, you're not going to believe this Wilf Paymont. The only, 99. The only other guy to wear 99 in the NHL had 97 <laughs> points in 1980, 1981. He also had 40 goals and 57 assists. I just thought that was a fun stat. That is fun. Um, I so, love that him and Gretzky wore 99 at the same time. I know. Wild, right? It, it's <laughs> wild that better? that happened. Who was better? By the way, so, who's to say? There is know. in one of the first Rock'em Sock'ems, there is a clip, because I think it started in the early in the mid-80s, where Wolf Paymont lays Wayne Gretzky out and then gets attacked by the Oilers. Lays him out. You can look this up. And I believe that was his last shift in the NHL. He never played again. Oh, Wilf wow. Sockham started the year we were born. Uh, okay, so maybe it was before that. But anyway, it's crazy. I also want to throw this out there. Austin Matthews, uh, even strength points, 77, guys. 77 even strength points. That's a lot. I, I don't think you can argue with that. The, the, the Austin Matthews, best player to his team this year. I'm sure people will.